So when we're talking about royal mindsets, cleaning is just really the surface of it, right? but also cleaning up our frame of thinking, right? So that's really important. That's what's really going to help us to maintain and to also move forward and be progressive. And so today I'm going to talk to you about why you should consider doing a community give back. in from our second annual community give back with the Children's Services Council of Broward County. It was an amazing event, of course. Just wanted to come on and share with you all um, some reasons of why you might want to consider doing a community give back for your cleaning business or your business in general. Provide you some tips. So I hope this helps. Before we jump into it, I just want to help you to understand us a little bit more. We are Diva Express Cleaning Services and we are located in South Florida. We serve the Broward County area and some parts of Miami as well. Here at Diva Express Cleaning Services, we specialize in high quality deep clean services to our community. So we are the top, we are the best in South Florida. Okay, hands down, woo woo, uh, uh, uh. okay, you gotta celebrate yourself, of course. That has not been easy to accomplish to say the least and of course as you accomplish it you must maintain it right you have to you have to make sure that you don't get comfortable and um you don't start to you know slip into your services you always have to show up for excellence we believe in empowering our community and how do we do that is by number one of course providing high quality deep cleanings but also sending a message out to the, our community about royal identity and so our environment is either going to do one or two things it's going to nurture or it's going to compromise right so we want to make sure that we are surrounding ourselves with people and an environment that's going to nurture our royal mindsets so when we're talking about royal mindsets Cleaning is just really the surface of it, right? The cleanliness of your environment is definitely going to have a positive impact on a lot of the characteristics of a royal mindset. However, cleaning is not the end and it's not the all. We wanna also make sure that we're cleaning up our lives, we're cleaning up our lifestyles, we're also cleaning up our frame of thinking, right? So that's really important. That's what's really gonna help us to maintain and to also move forward and be progressive in our journeys. It is that we're making a powerful impact. And so today I'm gonna to talk to you about why you should consider doing a community give back. So yes, you have a small cleaning business, right? You have a small business, but does not mean that you have to think small, right? So doing a community give back is about thinking beyond just the services that you provide to the community. And it's just, and it's also thinking beyond your goals. It's thinking about the community, it's getting to know the community that you serve, is getting to know the needs and understand the dynamics of how your business fits into the nuances of fitting that need. And also what's really important is identifying the key players of your community. You never know how maybe your mission and your ideas might be in alignment with a key player of your community. So you always wanna network, you always wanna show your face, you always wanna be involved and serve. So now that we covered the why, let's talk about the when. You might be saying, oh, I wanna do a community service event, but you're not really sure if now is a good time. As in the wise words of Martin Luther King, it's always the right time to do the right thing. As long as your heart is in the right place and you're not just thinking about the needs and the goals of your business and you're actually looking towards being a part of your community and actually looking for ways to serve your community, now is the time. Another thing you might be thinking is, well, I don't really know what to do. This is going to require you to do some inner, inner work, right? So you're gonna have to like really search within, figure out what you're passionate about, right? Nobody can say, oh, you should do this, you should do that. You definitely wanna make sure that you're doing something that is in alignment with your core values and what your passion is. What do you wanna see different in your community? What are you passionate about? What would you like to change about your community? So it's really about doing that inside homework and figuring out what is the best thing to do. Now we're going to go to number three. 
Who do I connect with? Who do I work with? Well, you definitely want to do some research on the organization that you partner with because you want to ensure that the mission and the values and the goals of that organization isn't aligned with your business and who you are. You don't want to misrepresent your business by attaching yourself to the wrong agency, to the wrong organization. Definitely want to make sure you do your research first. Where? I love this question. This is probably my most favorite question out of them all, right? Where? Where do I serve? Well, you definitely want to serve in a community that you're most passionate about. Right? This is going to require you, you to look at the logistics of your business. Where is predominantly the community that you serve, right? So you want to identify that area, but you also want to make sure that, that area that you serve is also the area that you're passionate about, right? So you really want to make sure that you're in alignment. You don't want to seem all over the place. You want to be very well organized and you don't want to seem like you're just trying to take advantage of an opportunity, right? The people that you serve, where you serve is all in alignment with who you serve and what your purpose and your mission is. I hope that makes sense. So now that we've discussed the who, what, when, where, now, how, and why, oh no, we didn't get to the how. Let's get to the how. So how do you do it? You can go to many different platforms, including Eventbrite, you can go to Facebook, or you could go to Instagram and look up your local community organizations and identify those organizations, see what they have coming up, see how they're engaged in a community, check them out, check out their websites, look at their calendar of events that might be coming up. And you wanna be sure to plan, plan effectively, create yourself a budget. What is your budget for this community give back? What is realistic for the level where you are in your business? What ideas can you create? And oh, talking about ideas, you definitely wanna be very creative. The goal is this is your business. So it's your opportunity and it's your chance to stand out. So don't be afraid to shine. It's important that everything that you do and everything that you touch has your signature stamp on it. This is your brand, this is your business, it's your personality, so don't be afraid to let it shine. I'm so glad that you watched this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you got some really great tips. As always, be love, be light. This is your Deep Clean Diva and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.